It appears that the demagoguery perpetrated by U.S. government officials in regards to video games and mass shootings is working. As super chain Walmart tries to censor the showcasing of quote unquote violent games. Let's get into it. What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It's your boy MM2K back again with another one. Hey, yo, before we get into this sad, pitiful news, <laughs> can you do me a huge favor, please? Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please. So you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up because you know, you know the deal. I'm not too proud to ask. Now, what's going on? MM2K? We thought you covered this already, you're probably thinking. And just when we thought that it was just another smokescreen thrown up by the U.S. government after a, uh, another mass shooting, and what I mean by smokescreen, I mean, again, video games being blamed for the end of the world. Just when we thought that was starting to pass, we have super chain Walmart that's, that just does the unspeakable, unspeakable out of nowhere. All right, so what's going on here? All right, so Walmart gives into pressure of the violent video game scapegoating perpetrated by the Trump administration and other government officials, all right? And how did they do so? Well, let me read you the article explaining and such, okay? All right, so here is an article, and it is uh, via Vice, all right, vice.com, and it is titled, Walmart removes violent video games, signage, but still sells guns. The retailer is asking employees to take down signage and playable demos for violent video games as well as hunting videos in the wake of shootings at its two stores. Okay, so I want to get to the meat and potatoes of this story. All right, so apparently uh, it says this week Walmart sent employees a notice titled Immediate Action. Remove signing and displays referencing violence. Freelance writer Kenneth Shepard posted an image of the notice on Twitter and other copies have circulated on Reddit. Review your store for any signing or displays that contain violent images or aggressive behavior. The notice reads, remove the sales floor, remove from the sales floor, or turn off these items immediately. Immediately! It's unclear how widely the notice was circulated. The notice instructs workers to remove demos of violent games, quote unquote, specifically PlayStation or Xbox units events for combat style or third person shooter games all right so for it further reads vice was able to independently confirm that walmart is asking employees to remove signing referencing violence um according to this one employee quote i went into this i went into work yesterday and they handed me a copy of the of instructions to remove the violent signage in gaming displays a Walmart employee who received the notice and asked to be quoted anonymously, uh, anonymously told Vice. And I immediately threw it away because it's obviously a way to shift the blame from real problem, the real problem regarding the mass shootings. I didn't get to confirm this yesterday, but they aren't doing anything about the sale of guns and ammo in the store. Okay. Thank you for bearing with me as I stumble through that, but you get the point, right? So here's the crazy thing about that. All right, and I wanna give a big ups to Gamertag Radio, okay? If you're not subscribed to their material, you don't listen to them, please check it out. And I'm also gonna provide a link um, to this actual uh, show that they did where Danny Pena, one of the panel members of Gamertag Radio, um, he had talked to an, uh, a member of the ESA. The ESA is the Entertainment Software Association. They're a lobbying group for um, video games and they also host E3 annually, okay? So in this story, uh, the ESA person tells Danny Pena that per a previous shooting that happened in 2018, and, and I'm sorry that the actual shooting falls falls uh, short of me at this moment, uh, but they all of a sudden was summoned to the White House uh, by the Trump administration. They had to meet with them and talk about violence in video games. And during this meeting, Trump had assembled a barrage of anti-gaming and game censoring advocates there, okay? It included Florida Senator Marco Rubio, okay? Now, 
the infi that infamous video game montage that I talked about in my last video was shown where they took the most sensational clips uh, of some of the most violent video game instances and put it in a clip and showed it to the ESA and said, you guys, and Trump said, you guys have a problem according to this ESA person. Look at this, that was pretty violent, wasn't it? Right? So in response to that, ESA was prepared. And they went and they showed Trump and all of his friends this. Okay. This right here is a chart that highlights video game revenue in uh, some of the, in the most prevalent countries where video games are played and the violent gun deaths in those same countries. All right. So as you can see, South Korea, China, and USA make up the top three video game uh, uh, players in the world. All right, and you can see how high the uh, per person estimate is for 2019. However, if you look at, look at this chart closely. However, if you look at the violent gun deaths, just in 2017 alone, in comparison, these, these same countries, the same top countries with the same top revenue or investment or estimates for video game revenue have nowhere near the violent gun deaths that are perpetrated in the United States. So after showing President Trump this, according to the ESA person, President Trump turns to Marco Rubio and says, guess what, Marco? We got a problem. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The optics, you know, don't match the the the, uh, the audio. And then the meeting was concluded. The Trump administration still babbled on about how they're going to further take action for, with video games, but then it, it fizzled out and it died out after this stunt that they tried last year. So here's ultimately the thing that we got to remember. Why is this resurfacing even though that clear as day chart that shows you that video games are not the cause of these shootings, okay? Even if you don't have a functioning brain and you gotta see something visually, that chart more than does the work for you. But with that being said, why, why are we still here, okay? Here's my thoughts on why, okay? I, I've personally seen reports where games brought in around 41 billion dollars just in 2018 alone during that same time i've also seen reports where gun sales have affected 42 billion dollars in revenue in the united states they have affected the economy all right so they're, they're, they're relatively close in the money that they generate but here's the problem the problem is the nra just in 2016 brought in 366 million dollars in donations all right. In that same time period, the ESA, which is the game industry's lobbying group, only brought in 10% of that, 36 million. Look, people, you know the phrase, you know the saying, money talks and BS walks, okay? And the people with the big influencers are the gun lobby. Now, I'm not saying I have any politics against guns, but when you have a choice between dealing with the gun lobby in the wake of these shootings or our lobby, which is the ESA, and you're a politician and you know how MM2K feels about politicians, I trust none of them. Because they're all grimy and they all have self-interest. So if you're in that self-interest state of mind and you gotta pick between the two you gonna side with and you gotta scapegoat somebody, or you got a choice really let's phrase it like this you got a choice between dealing with the more apparent problem or scapegoating somebody 99 times out of 100 uh, out of 100 you're going to scapegoat video games all right just because we're not lying in the pockets all right so if you want to change the tide i know this may not be the most popular way to round this out and close this out but if you want to change the tide gamers help donate man let me tell you what I am. Look, the game is the game. Sometimes you gotta play the game and you gotta work within. 
once we get a stable footing and we can smack this away consistently and we can make these government officials think twice before they even come to our realm, then we can change the dynamic of the game. But right now we gotta play with the cards that we've been dealt. And in order to change this around, like I tell y'all all the time, money talks, BS walks, okay? That's what we gotta do. But with that being said, that's it from your boy MM2K. Hey, yo, let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below. Cause like I always tell y'all, y'all can come with me and come at me. It does not matter to your boy. But if you did like what I had to say, you know, you can catch me on the corner of every boulevard. Check the links below to follow me. And y'all do a show with your peoples, Snow Bunny, Dirt Griggity, Neethos. It's called Scram Punks. We air it every Wednesday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Dirt Griggity's channel. Check that out at hashtag scram punks for more information yo check out my brother and the broadband bullies we are doing the damn thing check out the discord link all right check out that patreon link check out that link to the gear because it's fly and last but not least check out your boy on the official channel for the hardcore gamer because we ain't gonna let them get away with this we're not gonna let the government get away with this we're gonna keep our hardcore content the hell with walmart they might just get, hey, yo, Walmart might just get boycotted. And your boy might just deal with, with, with Amazon. You know what I'm saying? Facts. But if you want to, to go to a place where they appreciate hardcore content, come over, look no further at twitch.tv forward slash mighty most 2000 for the hard knock digital culture where we highlight hardcore gaming. We highlight hardcore cinema, which includes anime and martial arts. And we do it with no shame, baby. And with that being said, again, you got to, hey, you got to play the game. You got to play with the cards you were dealt. You know what I'm saying? And once we get in, then we can make change. But until then, you still have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day.